hello and welcome to my next session on assignment problems today we are going to solve some special cases in assignment problems the example for today is an unbalanced assignment problem the example given is the personal manager of abc corporation wants to assign mr x y and z to regional offices for which the cost are given but the firm has an opening in its chennai office and would send one of them to that branch if it is more economical than a move to delhi mumbai or kolkata in the assignment matrix we have been given delhi mumbai and kolkata and the personal managers are assigning mr x y and z and these are the cost which is involved now it will cost rupees 2000 to relocate mr x to chennai 1600 to relocate mr y there and 3000 to move mr z to chennai what is the optimum assignment of personnel to the offices so we need to rewrite this assignment matrix just because we have some additional information which is given to us so one additional column will be added to a new matrix so let us rewrite this matrix first start with the solution i'll write d m k and we'll add the other column c for chennai mr x y and z the values 1600 1000 2000 3200 2000 2400 2600 and 4600 let us see what is given for x x 2000 for y it will cost 1600 so and for z or for z it is 3000 now this is my new matrix after adding chennai column but if you look at this problem carefully you will find that it is not a balanced problem because the number of rows which is 3 is not equal to the number of columns which is 4 here now in such a case we have to add a dummy row in this example so that we can balance the matrix so simply i'll extend this matrix further i'll add a dummy row here and the cost values will be nothing but zeros so i'll add zeros here and this will make it a balanced problem fine so whenever you have a unbalanced problem you have to balance it by adding a dummy row or a dummy column depending on the matrix given to you the next step would be as usual row reduction and followed by column reduction now because we already have a zero in the columns okay the column reduction will uh, not be required in this example but the row reduction is required so let us do this calculation and write the first step and reduce the matrix further so i'll write the second step step 2 after adding the column and the dummy row let us do the subtraction and what do i get here let us see i'll put the matrix back m k and c
Mr. X, Y, Z and dummy. Okay, for dummy we have zeros, so I'll directly write these values. Okay, in the first row here, let us see what is the minimum value. Minimum value is 16, so we are going to use 1600 to do the subtraction. So subtract 1600 from 1600 will give me a zero here. From 2000 and from 2400 and then from 2000. So let us do the calculation. We will get here 400, then 800 and 400 again. In the second row 1000 is the minimum value and even in the third row 1000 is the minimum value so we can do the subtraction for both the rows and I'll write down the values here so this becomes 0 then we have here 2200 1600 600 this is 0, 1000 here, 3600 and 2000, okay, this is after doing the row subtraction and as I told you the columns already have the zeros because of this dummy row here, so the next step which is the column subtraction need not be done, okay, we will directly move and Try to now cover the zeros using a horizontal or a vertical line. So in the step number 3, let us use the line to cover the zeros. So we have the M, K, C. A, C. Dummy. So we have this four zeros here, 400, 800, 1600, 2000, Okay, so maximum zeros you find we have only one column and one row. So we will directly draw the lines to cover the zeros. There are only two lines which are required to cover all the zeros. So we have not come to the optimum solution because n is 4. Okay. And the number of lines are 2 which is not equal. So we will go ahead and do the next step. Step number 4. Find the minimum number from the uncovered numbers and which is 400 we have to do the subtraction uh, with the numbers which are not covered the zeros which are or the numbers which are covered by single line will remain unchanged whereas the one which is covered by two lines there we are going to perform addition okay so once we do this and we are going to rewrite this whole thing let us see this number again and K C X Y Z dummy no change no change here no change here minimum value was 400 so we have to add it here because the number is covered by two lines 400 minus 400 will give me a 0, this will give me 400, this will be 0. This is going to give me 1600, then this will give me 1200, this will give me 200, then this is 600, then this 3, 2, double, 0, 1, 6, double, 0. These numbers are unchanged okay next step is to cover the zeros using horizontal vertical lines 
we have three zeros here three zeros here i'll draw the first line here the next line here now we have two zeros remain and i can use one single line to cover both of them so three lines are used here to cover all the zeros but as you know n is four so we have not achieved the optimum solution so one more step to perform the reduction step number five okay i'll put the values again we have d m k c x y z dummy okay find the minimum number from the uncovered numbers which is 200 so let us do the subtraction using 200 with the numbers which are not covered no changes to the numbers which are covered by single line and perform addition wherever we have two lines covering the number so in the first one this zero is covered by two lines so i'll add 200 there i'll get 200 here no change in the rest of this number in this line or in this row the next one 1600 minus 200 will give me 1400 this will give me 1000 a zero no change here this will give me 400 this will give me 3000 and this is going to be 1400 in case of dummy 400 is covered by two lines so i'll add 200 there this will give me 600 the zeros remain unchanged okay so what is the sixth step here covering all the zeros again we have three zeros here i'll use a single line to cover it okay we have two year two year and two year okay so i can draw this only one left so either a horizontal or vertical will do i'll cover it like this now we have got the optimum solution because the number of lines used to cover the zeros are equal to n that is four okay so step number six will be to do the assignment so quickly we'll go and do the assignments we'll rate the values again we have your 200 0 400 0 0 1000 1400 0 0 here, 400 here 3000 here 1400 and for the dummy we have 600 0 0 and 0 this x y z and dummy so this completes my matrix and how we do the assignment we first search whether we have a single zero in any of the row or column and as you can see we do not have a single zero oh we have it we have it for Kolkata here in this column so i'll do the assignment here first and cancel the zeros in this row okay next you can see for mumbai again column we have a single zero left we can do the assignment here cancel out this zero which is not required next for chennai we have a single zero so we can do the assignment here and cut out this zero in this row and finally for z we have delhi which we can do the assignment that means mr x y z and dummy x will go to mumbai y is going to go to chennai
z is going to go to delhi and the dummy is actually assigned to kolkata but uh, because you know it's a dummy value there won't be any reallocation or assignment to kolkata so what is the total cost the total cost depends on the assignment and the cost so we are going to write the cost which we are going to take from the original matrix and the cost from the original matrix for x which is mumbai is 2000 for y for chennai is 1600 for z or z to delhi is 1000 and this as you know was zero so total comes to this is 4600 so total cost is rupees 4600 and which is the minimum cost for this allocation and this is the optimum solution okay all the steps in this problems are similar to the one which we did before the only step which we need to be careful about is if the problem is unbalanced we need to add a dummy row in this example or a dummy column had i got a different dimension matrix clear i hope you have understood this problem and i want you all to practice this out and check whether you have understood it properly. Thank you.